This is not normal. In fact, it's bizarre. Over the past few weeks, deep sky surveys have begun picking up dozens of new objects that appear to be moving with 3i Atlas, the interstellar comet that's already defied expectations at every turn. But here's the thing. These aren't just fragments. They look like independent bodies, some trailing plasma tails, others tumbling with their own spin. A full swarm is approaching the inner solar system, and 3i Atlas may not be coming alone. We have multiple detections now, faint but fast-moving objects caught by ZTF, pan stars, and even amateur astronomers using stacked exposures. As of September 23, 2025, at least nine new companions have been tentatively linked to the same trajectory. Their orbits suggest a loose association with 3i Atlas, but with enough variance to rule out a simple breakup event. That's what's most chilling. This doesn't look like a comet cracking apart. It looks like a fleet. The lead object, of course, is C2025N1 3i Atlas, confirmed to be interstellar due to its hyperbolic orbit. It first lit up dramatically in ultraviolet back in July, but since then it's only grown more unstable. As it moves past Mars and toward the inner solar system, the coma is erupting with jets of carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and very bright cyanogen, the same molecule that gave Comet Lovejoy its eerie green glow. But now, the glow is spreading across other objects. Let me say that again. Several of these newcomers also show signs of active outgassing. That means they're not just rocks. They're icy bodies being heated up by the sun, likely rich in volatiles. In other words, mini comets. One of them, provisionally labeled Object H92, has developed a tail over 20,000 miles long. Another, Object Z1, showed a flickering brightness pattern consistent with rotation and possibly even fragmentation. None of this was predicted. None of this follows the normal pattern of comet families. So what's going on? Some researchers suggest that 3i Atlas may have originated from a binary or multiple body system outside our solar system, a cluster of objects loosely bound together and flung into interstellar space by a gravitational slingshot. That would explain the uneven spacing and erratic velocities. Others speculate something more dramatic, that we may be witnessing the tail end of an interstellar debris train, not one object, but a swarm of icy wanderers pushed our way by some long-past cosmic event. And yet, one thing unifies them all, the timing. They're arriving now. In late September 2025, they are all passing into the zone between Earth and Mars. This is not decades away. This is days away. The projected perihelion of 3i Atlas is now set for October 9, 2025. That's when it will swing closest to the sun at a distance of just 0.68 AU, about 63 million miles. But these companion objects don't all share that same perihelion. Some veer further out, some swing in faster. One may pass within 0.01 AU of Earth, about 930,000 miles, a lunar grazing distance. This could be one of the most dynamic sky events of the decade. And it might be completely invisible to the naked eye, unless we know when to look. That's why NASA, ESA, and independent observatories are now in full mobilization. Instruments like the Solar Orbiter and SOHO are being tasked to catch any solar interaction. James Webb is being quietly retasked to observe the strange chemistry of the group. And there's more. Plasma simulations from Rubin Observatory suggest that as 3i Atlas reaches perihelion, it may trigger electromagnetic effects across the smaller bodies. If a solar flare or CME intersects the swarm, it could shear off their tails in real time, something we've seen before, but never in a formation like this. It gets stranger. In early September, the amateur network of sky watchers in Chile and Australia recorded a faint arc-shaped glow behind 3i Atlas. It wasn't a tail. It looked like a dusty plasma shell, a bubble forming from accumulated solar wind pressure. If that shell collapses or gets punctured, it could release a cascade of tiny particles at high speed. We could see meteor-like flashes. We could see interference on spacecraft. Or we could see... nothing. But let me be clear. This isn't just about space rocks. This is about what they tell us. We may be witnessing for the first time an interstellar system that fractured long before it ever reached us. A cosmic message in fragments. Some of these bodies may contain ices older than the sun itself. Their chemistry could give us the fingerprints of alien star systems. And if even one of them harbors organic molecules, it would open a new chapter in our search for life. So what should we expect next? 
Starting September 26th, the swarm will begin entering peak visibility for high-powered telescopes. We expect a series of close approaches throughout the first week of October. The most spectacular could occur on October 3rd, when object K11 may brighten to magnitude plus 5. 2. Just barely visible to the naked eye from dark skies. If it fragments, we could see a mini storm of comet shards by October 4th. Meanwhile, 3i Atlas itself continues to behave erratically. Its spin rate appears to be changing, possibly due to asymmetric outgassing. Some believe it's in a slow tumble, which would explain the shifting brightness. But if the rotation speeds up too much, it could tear itself apart. That would unleash a storm of debris unlike anything since Comet Linear in 2000, or worse. And now, with the addition of this swarm, the stakes are higher. We're not tracking one object anymore. We're watching a constellation of wanderers, each one potentially holding secrets from beyond our star. I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes the most observed cometary event of the century, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it leaves us with more questions than answers. We'll dive deeper into the possible origins of this bizarre swarm in part two and explore what ancient cosmic force could have launched an entire group of icy travelers into our solar system at once. Before we move on, if you found yourself caught up in the wonder of this cosmic mystery, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Starlight Mysteries. It helps us bring these urgent, awe-inspiring stories to more people around the world. Thank you for being here. Truly, we are now in uncharted territory. What began as a single interstellar comet has become something much, much bigger. 3II Atlas is not just behaving strangely it may be revealing an entire family of cosmic wanderers, loosely bound, ancient, and now invading the inner solar system. But where did this bizarre swarm come from? And why now? Let's rewind. The hyperbolic orbit of 3I Atlas confirms it didn't form in our solar system. Its inbound velocity, over 70,000 miles per hour, and eccentricity above 1.0 eliminate any chance of it being a captured object. It is coming from somewhere else. But here's where it gets interesting. Its inbound trajectory doesn't point to a known stellar system. Instead, when astronomers trace it backward through the galactic frame, it seems to emerge from the direction of the Carina Sagittarius arm, a dense, active region of our galaxy. That could mean several things. One possibility is that 3I Atlas and its companions were ejected from a distant star system during a planetary upheaval, perhaps a migrating gas giant scattering comets outward, much like our own Jupiter does. Another, more tantalizing theory? These objects were once part of a vast Oort cloud analog around a star that no longer exists. Think about that. We could be witnessing the last remnants of a solar system that has already died. Its star gone supernova or swallowed by a black hole, leaving behind only frozen relics, drifting for millions of years. And now, one piece of that broken system has reached us. But what shattered the cluster? If 3I Atlas was once a stable object traveling alone, something must have disrupted it. One hypothesis gaining traction is the tidal disruption model. As the cluster passed near another star or through a dense molecular cloud, gravitational forces may have gently pulled it apart. Not violently, but just enough to scatter the members over vast distances while still keeping them loosely aligned, like sparks drifting from a fading fire. And that might explain the bizarre variation in chemistry. Object H92 emits mostly water and carbon dioxide. Object T4 has shown hints of formaldehyde and acetylene, rarely seen in comets. But 3I Atlas itself? It's still the strangest. The early detection of nickel lines but not iron continues to baffle scientists, and if that's not a clue, then what is? Could cosmic rays over millions of years have altered the chemical makeup of these bodies? Possibly. Interstellar travel exposes objects to high-energy radiation capable of breaking molecules apart and creating strange new compounds. If the outer shell is saturated with irradiated material, we could be seeing the result of cosmic aging. Let's not forget the dynamics. Several of the objects in this swarm show non-gravitational acceleration. They're being pushed slightly by outgassing jets. That means we can't perfectly predict where they'll go. One small thrust from a gas jet could shift an object's path by thousands of miles over time. It's like trying to predict the motion of fireworks in zero gravity. October 9th still marks the perihelion of 3I Atlas. But leading up to that day, we expect a cascade of events. On September 28th, Object Z1 is projected to pass within 1.1 million miles of Earth. 
It may brighten dramatically as it heats up. On October 1st, the SOHO satellite is expected to catch several of the swarm members passing through the sun-facing region. If a coronal mass ejection strikes at the same time, we could witness real-time tail disconnection events. October 3rd to October 5th. This window could be explosive. 3i Atlas enters its final pre-perihelion stretch, and if it follows the pattern of other interstellar comets like Borisov, we might see rapid brightening or even fragmentation. Keep your eyes on those dates, because one of these objects could surprise us all. And here comes the boldest speculation yet. What if this isn't just a natural event? Some astronomers cautiously are wondering aloud, is it possible that an interstellar cluster like this was deliberately launched? Not necessarily by aliens, but by the physics of a dead star system. Could a catastrophic event, like a binary white dwarf merger, have ejected these bodies in a predictable direction? Could this be the echo of a stellar apocalypse? Or to go further down the rabbit hole, what if one or more of these objects is artificial? Now, there is no confirmed data suggesting that, let's be clear, but the unusual chemistry, synchronized arrival, and spin irregularities in some members have sparked online debates. And the idea isn't completely outlandish. We know from Breakthrough Listen and other programs that astronomers now consider comets and asteroids to be legitimate places to search for technosignatures. If even one of these objects emits an anomalous signal or reflects light in a non-random pattern, the implications would be staggering. So what can you, as a sky watcher, do? Stay informed. Several astronomy apps are beginning to track 3i Atlas and its companions. If you're in a rural or dark sky location, grab a pair of binoculars between October 3rd and 10th. Even if you can't see the swarm, you might glimpse a ghostly green tail climbing the eastern horizon before dawn. And more importantly, understand what this moment means. We are not just watching another comet pass by. We are watching our solar system interact with the galaxy. We are watching an alien family of icy bodies, older than Earth, sweep through the space between our planets. This isn't fiction. This is happening now. And in a few short weeks, it could all vanish. The swarm will round the sun and either disperse or be lost in solar glare. Some may fragment. Others may drift off into deep space, never to be seen again. But right now, we are in the moment of closest approach. The universe has delivered us a visitor, or perhaps a caravan. Before we wrap up, let me say this. Thank you for your curiosity, your time, your attention, your wonder. That's what drives us to bring you these stories. If you found this fascinating, subscribing is the best way to join our cosmic journey. We're building a community of thinkers, dreamers, and watchers of the sky. We'd love to have you with us. Stay alert. Stay inspired. The sky is speaking louder than ever.